What's going on guys? So after my lovely neighbor decided to rear it or back into my car and mess up the door, we're at the scrapyard. I wanna say hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so we came across this 2006 or seven uh, pearl white uh, wagon and it's in pretty rough shape, but we found a door. I'm not too worried about that. And in all honesty, it's in better condition than my other one. So we're gonna take this. We're also gonna take the side skirt. Just a few other parts for some of our buddies. We gotta take some parts for a Civic. For my buddy that got a hit and a run. So, sucks for him, but we're gonna help him out. And yeah, I guess we'll just kinda show you what we get when we leave. All right, to replace this door, we got the replacement. Uh, it's not in perfect shape. It's a little scratch there and little bits of rust everywhere. But in all honesty, you can't see it, but the bottom of the door, like the very bottom where it rusts out, it's really in good condition. It's a lot better condition than this one. Uh, came with the door handle. I'm probably not going to paint this because it was a pain in the ass, but this would be good for a donor. We're about to throw everything in. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. This is it. I got to drive all the way to Brampton now for Newmarket, so hopefully this survives. What's going on, guys? A while ago, I picked up a new door for this thing and i showed it before so my lovely neighbor left a little bit of damage for me so i want to say a couple of weeks ago two three weeks ago i picked up a door this is the door it's been sitting here just collecting dust i'm going to attempt today to get this door off and swap it over the one issue is when i unlock this door it won't open um so my one idea is to try to pick it. So I'm gonna use this coat hanger right here. I don't know, I don't know what's jamming it, but something is jamming it to where it won't open. I'm gonna see if I can figure that out today. Throw that white door over, white door on because in a couple of weeks, I'm hoping to get my STI out and park this away for a few months, and then I could fix the door and everything at Brampton because I don't need the car on me and I'll leave this car in Alliston where it can stay for a while. Oh, la, la. So, it works now. And I'll show you why it didn't work. Well, I tried taking the coat hanger, jamming it down in there, and then you could see a little like tab that you used to push, like this handle pushes down on it to release. It wasn't this. <sighs> So, inside the car, there's this, and for some reason, after I removed this, opened right up. It's like it was stopping the lock to where it wouldn't open, and I did notice this a little crack right there, so I don't know what's going on, but the new door has a replacement. All this comes on the new door, so hopefully, no issues. Alright, so since we got the door open, before I take it off and destroy it, I want to see... I was gonna say, I wanna see how strong this is. And I'm looking at it right now and there's a crack. It's a crack right there that I never even saw until right now. Can you see that? Right there, so that's sick. So something happened, so it's okay, I guess, that this door got damaged. Cause we're gonna fix it anyways. But I wanna pull on this and see how strong it is. Considering I probably didn't do it the way that most people would do it, so. That should show you, I'm shaking the car right now. Oh. Yeah. So, if you decide to go with my method of how I do my body panels, you shouldn't have a problem. Just make sure you clean all these surfaces. So that's the door. So as I was removing this, I was thinking about it. I have a feeling this crack happened because of the hit, not because it just failed. I thought maybe I didn't prep it right. I think it was a hit. Also over here, there's a bunch, it's a bunch of cracking like right here. See that right here? Again, I don't know if that was previous paint. I don't know what that was, but I have a feeling because of the hit, that's why it failed, but yeah. 
All right, let's throw uh, let's throw this new door on. Um, it's a little beaten up that you can see right there, but it doesn't matter because it's going to get a full repaint and lots of stuff done to it, so it really doesn't matter. Um, I'm probably going to rock the white door for a bit. There you go, we're gonna be driving around in style for a bit. Uh, we also have a side skirt that came off of the same car. But the thing is, is this side skirt is from a wagon. And it's not gonna clear this fender. And it looks like I missed a little bit of rust there that I'm gonna have to fix. I have to fix that when I park the car, that's fine, I'll take the fender with me. So I'm gonna quickly just cut this off and have it so I can at least drive around with a side skirt. Because if you notice, because this is a Canadian car, it just rots away. So, yeah, look at that. So, I'm going to leave it as it for now. If I decide to keep the car in like, you know, a couple of years when I got my own place and I want to fix all that, then maybe I'll do it. But there's a lot of rush repair on this and I don't think I want to dig into it. I think I'd rather just get a new project down then, like down the road. So, and then probably just take parts from this car and then put it on the new car. So, I'm just going to make it look pretty for the time being. Knowing it's going to just rust away. It just, it is what it is. But again, it's my winter beater. This is why I drive this in the winter, not the STI. Just to show, like, this car took a beating. Okay, this car took a real beating over the winter. Like, just look at this. The real damage is right here. All this is messed up. That's gone. That's cracked. So this was my own fault though. This is my own fault. I was trying to have a little bit of fun. It is what it is. You gotta pay if you wanna play. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this side skirt ready to throw in the car. And then we're probably gonna call it a day. So other than a little bit of cleanup, that's definitely the tool to use for a job like this. It's a lot easier, cleaner. You don't get hot plastic hitting your face. Yeah, I'd recommend it. If you have access to one of these, use it. I'm probably gonna cut a little bit more just to clean it up, like right here, and then we'll slap it on. Maybe it was always like Look at that. Ain't that a cutie. Well, it'll do the trick. So I wanted to get the side skirt on because when the flare comes on, I need to make sure it lines up here. And when it comes down, it lines up to here. So I wanted to make sure this was on. So later this week, I'll get the flare on, take that flare off, and get cracking at this thing. I'm gonna call that a video for today. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Uh, comment if you have any comments of course of how you know I know what I'm doing or just any tips or anything I know of and like and for real subscribe over 80% of you are not subscribed you know it takes a couple seconds it really helps out so please do that I'll appreciate it and as always take it easy